Patagonia Fitzroy down hoodie. Uh, we're gonna go and we're gonna pick it up, see what it's all about. Um, so stay tuned. All right. All right, guys. So we have the Patagonia Fitzroy uh, jacket. It actually looks better in person. Um, the color isn't as bad. I was kind of apprehensive about getting this color. Uh, but the blue blows it up a little bit. It's nice. It's a nice super light material. Looks good. We're gonna test this baby out. We're gonna see how it fares in some cold weather. And um, you know, we'll get back with the baby. Stay tuned. Get away. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Big Drizzy, back again with another gear review for you. Today, we're looking at the Patagonia piece, the Fitzroy down hoodie, right? Awesome piece. Uh, had to bring it out to the channel for you guys to take a look at. Um, and this is really uh, based off of a uh, the Fitzroy down parka. This is really a scaled down version of that. Um, you know, a couple years ago, I did a review, it's still up on the channel, of the Fitzroy Down Parka. Uh, they, they've since revised it and uh, come out with this, which is the Down Hoodie, which is really a scaled-down version of the Parka version. Uh, the Parka had about 6.4 ounces of Down. This Down Hoodie has 4.5 ounces. Ooh, the wind is picking up in this fridge and love it. So, and they also used a box stitch construction in the parka uh, where this down hoodie is just a regular stitch through construction right so for those that don't know the box wall construction is a stitching process that will allow the down to loft more it's kind of more of an open uh, baffle as opposed to this which is more of a stitched through um, process and you know the stitch through does kind of allow for cold spots the box wall doesn't and it allows the the down to loft more thus giving you a warmer jacket so those are two major things uh two major ways that this jacket the newer jacket is different uh from the old parka um to to tell you right off the bat i really wish patagonia would have left the, the down parka um I tested that jacket, I wore it, 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 it the construction felt premium, um, even a little bit more premium than this. It had a lot more down in it, it felt robust and lofty, it felt like you could go out into the meanest conditions and not even have to blink an eye, alright? So, um, had to bring the, the down hoodie out just to see how, you know, it compared to the parka bring it to the channel because when I went to go look for this jacket online for videos there's not a lot of videos on this jacket um, a couple great reviews on it though uh, where I was able to learn some stuff so I just wanted to bring it to the channel so you guys can see how it looks all right real world in case you're thinking about picking one up awesome looking jacket super comfortable I mean you put it on and it's it's like feather feather light it's so light for what it is super comfortable 800 fill down um, you have a 20 denier very very thin 20 denier face fabric which may be of some concern to some people out there um, you know it's, it's a very thin fabric compared to some of the other heavyweight pieces that we've had on um, you know the channel for perspective last week when we had the mountain equipment light line 
that face fabric is 40 d so that's double what this is so if you're someone who's concerned about maybe ripping your jacket or you're going to be outside around branches and things that may rub up on the jacket and potentially tear it you definitely want to keep that in mind all right so yeah man 20 d fabric dwr treated it is stitched through though which will allow you to feel a little bit of cold i have to be honest with you guys uh you know i, I wore the jacket yesterday uh also this morning in some cold temperatures and now it's cold um you know i even brought my gloves with me because i said i'm gonna be out here and my gloves are possibly my hands are possibly gonna get cold so it's cold and i can feel a little bit of cold on the uh here by my elbows I can feel a little bit cold if you feel the fabric there's not a lot of down here by the middle of the arms all right I really like this jacket though man I really like it it's minimal um, it doesn't look make you look like the Michelin man it's cut close to the body but it's still roomy and even with the Das Parker that I reviewed a couple years ago, I usually wear an XL and the store didn't have an XL. I said, let me try on a large and the large fit beautifully. So they these run roomy, um, you know, if you want to layer and stuff like that. So let's get into what we like, what we don't like, the features of the jacket. We have two awesome Napoleon, external Napoleon pockets here. Love that. Two raised hand warmer pockets, nice and sizable. The left one has a double-sided zipper here, right? So you can stuff the jacket into this left pocket. Um, great, great piece. Yeah, zip this up here. All right. No two-way zipper, which would have been nice on this, but you know, I think they're just trying to keep it minimal. Nice, neat cord lock here on the side nice cut as well on the side it's not all the way even on the sides it kind of comes up a little bit which is awesome jacket zips all the way up it really would have been nice to just add maybe a square here and a square here of micro fleece it means the world when you're outside in the cold when you can have your face rubbing on a little bit of cold nylon or nice comfortable micro fleece to be up against your mouth and your chin all right so but I, awesome jacket man awesome jacket cuffs here are elasticized on the inside by the wrist absolutely no wind or anything getting inside there You have a good hood, pretty good hood, you know. I'll get into it. Comes down nice, protects the circumference of the face. There's no adjustment here on the side of the hood. The only adjustment is in the back. All right. One thing, one little thing I'm gonna nitpick on right now is that when you have a hood like this with one point adjustment, the draw cord cannot, it's gonna start from your temples. It cannot go around your head like a headband. It has to start at your temples and come down a little bit to that little indentation at the at the back of, of your head, above your neck, all right? That ensures that the hood is securely fit on your head. When the draw cord is more, goes around your head more like a headband, then the hood is more prone to not grab the head the right way and won't move with your head when you go to turn, especially if you have a hat on uh, underneath. All right, always something to look for. Make sure that the head, the draw cord starts here and it goes down just a little bit. That way it'll have a more secure fit around the circumference of your head. Only thing that, you know, I really want to nitpick with is that, uh, but still a secure, Still, hood still has a nice secure fit around the head. Love the pockets, they're raised, they're comfortable. You can just take a nice leisurely walk or if you're waiting out somewhere for a train or a bus or just standing somewhere really cold, your hands will be very comfortable in this position. Love it. Uh, but um, yeah, you know, the only downside I think to the jacket is 
I, you know, I think they should they shouldn't have ever changed it. You know, I think put a little bit more down in the jacket, um, and and you'll be good. And and this fabric is a Pertex Quantum. It's not Quantum Pro. I'd like to see them put Quantum Pro on this. Give us a little bit more weather resistance. Give us a little bit more durability. Um, you know, and, and give the fabric a little bit more chance to deflect the wind uh, a little bit better. Uh, you know, for the price, it's $399. Uh, you know, if you, to put things in perspective, if you look at the light line that we looked at last week on sale for $200, 40 denier fabric, which is double the denier of this, which is 20, filled with double the amount of down. This has 4.5 ounces. The light line for $200 has double that at 10 ounces or a little bit more than 10 ounces. You're getting a warmer jacket, a more weather resistant jacket and a cheaper jacket overall. Um, and also the Storm Hinge from REI. You know, you're paying $249. It's on sale now for $148. You're getting pit zips. You're getting a waterproof outer shell and you're getting $850 down. Um, you know, so you really have to look at the specs and see what you're really going to be using the jacket for. This jacket is really going to be for days like today, where it's dry, it's sunny, it's breezy, it's super cold, it's frigid. But, you know, what about those times when you're going to run into a little snow, a little rain? You're going to want a fabric and a jacket that are going to be able to combat that. And I can't really say, um, you know, with any certainty that this jacket is going to be able to do that for you. Again, if you like super light pieces, then you're going to want to look at this jacket. If you're going to need something that is more weather resistant, then you're going to have to look at the other pieces. You're going to have to look at the storm engine. You're going to have to look at the light line. You're going to have to look at Rad. Um, you know, even Eddie with the, um, with the Evertherm. Uh, you know, you're getting down inside. You're getting their waterproof outer, if that's the type of jacket that you need. If you just want a nice, like a traditional super light puffy, um, you know, then you maybe want to take a look at this. Uh, but I don't see any advantage in getting this. It's not giving you the protection. It's not giving you the warmth and uh, you're paying more money. So for that, you know, you really got to ask yourself what you want to do. But again, like I said, the Fitzroy down hoodie, very comfortable. You got a lot of pockets. Also on the inside, you have a nice drop in pocket here. You can put some gloves in there, really. I mean, I just, yeah, I, 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 I love the jacket, man, but it's just a few things, price, and, you know, a few weather resistant things that just, you know, for $400, it just has you thinking, okay, you know, you can probably get a better option that's cheaper. All right, guys, so if you guys are, you know, thinking about getting the jacket still, if you have questions on the jacket, Leave them down below, like, subscribe, hit me up. I'm gonna try to come back with that mammal piece maybe tomorrow in some really cold weather. I'm gonna test that out. Some super cold weather for you guys. So look out for that video. Hit me up on the channel, man. All right, guys, peace.